Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and I'm excited to announce my latest script release, Star Console, designed to automate the steps needed to run the full Blur Exterminator process. And today, we're going to learn how to download it and use it. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any useful information. Now let's jump on in and learn about Star Console. Star Console is a script that I designed in order to automate the steps that we used to perform with doing the full Blur Exterminator process. In other words, if we were working on a one-shot color image like we have here, we would need to extract a luminance, and then what we would need to do is go into Script, Image Analysis, Full Width Half Max Eccentricity, click Measure, and then get the Median Full Width Half Max number, round it to the nearest hundredth, and then we would go into Process, All Processes, Blur Exterminator, and plug that number into PSF Diameter, and then run the process. We no longer have to do that now. And there's a couple of other features in Star Console that I included that we're going to check out here in just a moment. First, before we get into all that, how do we get Star Console? If you already have my repository link downloaded in the Pixin site, You'll get a uh, update window the next time you load PixInsight. That'll prompt you to update the repository link. That'll give you Star Console because my repository link contains all of my scripts. If you don't have it yet, that's okay. I'm going to have my repository link in the description of this video here. So if you don't have my scripts, go ahead and copy the repository link from the description of this video. Go into Resources, Updates, Manage Repositories. Click Add, paste the repository link into this Add PixInsight repository window, and then click OK. Once you have my repository link in the Manage Update Repositories window, click OK, and then go into Resources, Updates, and check for updates. Now, I don't have any updates available to me, so I'm going to get this window here. Um, but what will happen for you is you'll see a window that pops up that has all of the available repository updates listed. Click Select All, and then click OK. Once you click OK, go ahead and exit out of PixInsight, and you may or may not get a window that pops up in the middle of your screen that asks if you want to allow the application to make changes to this device. If you get that, go ahead and click OK, and you'll see PixInsight update. Now, PixInsight should automatically restart, if it doesn't, just go ahead and reopen PixInsight. Once your PixInsight is reopened or restarted, go into Script, and you'll see HLP, and we'll go into Star Console. Now, doing a quick tour of Star Console, you see a few different options here. We have Subframe Star Check, Full Star Correction, and Star Removal. As long as subframe star check is not selected, you'll have the option to work with a view, such as what we have back here with IC5070. First, let's go ahead and demonstrate subframe star check. If we click subframe star check, we'll notice that the dropdown for a view selection as well as full star correction and star removal are now disabled. That's because we're gonna be working with subframes. Instead, we'll see a button that says Add Light Subframe Files. If we click that, it'll bring us into our disk or our file explorer. From there, what we want to do is just navigate to a project that we're working on. For the sake of demonstration, we'll go to NGC 2264, we'll go to Night 1, and the light frames. I'm going to go ahead and select all of my light frames and click Open. Now in the list, we'll see that the script went ahead and took all of our light subframes and put the associated full width half max value next to them. We no longer have to check these individually. Now for the sake of example here, towards the end of the night, we noticed that our full width half max started getting pretty high. Now, let's say we wanted to investigate these further and make sure that um, we truly want to get rid of them. What we're going to want to do is we can select all of these in here. We can go ahead and choose some of these little outliers that we see 
And once we have all of the files that we want to omit from the stack, we'll go ahead and save selected, which is an option that you can do if you wanted to save them for further investigation. Let's navigate to a spot that we want to put these and I'll create a new folder called bad frames. I'll select that folder and click select folder. And we'll see that the script has now went ahead and saved all of the selected subframes into our bad frames folder. From here, we can pull these up into Blink or open them individually, check them out, see what happened. From here, we can go ahead and delete selected and it just went ahead and deleted all of those frames from the list. And then we can save remaining. And now all of the ones that are in there are full width half max values that we like. So we can go ahead and say, good frames. We'll select that folder, hit select, and the script is gonna go ahead and save all of the remaining frames from the list into our good frames folder. And we can see that right here. We can do further investigation on these, put them through Blink, make sure everything else is looking good. And if it is, we can just take this folder and put it straight into WBPP and not have to worry about full with half max. Now, here we have IC5070 taken with a one shot color camera. And I'm gonna demonstrate Star Console using this image here. Let's go into script, HLP, Star Console. And we're gonna go ahead and select our view from the dropdown. If we don't select anything else, all we do is we simply hit measure full with half max. We'll notice that the script automatically opens up a luminance because it detected a color image. And then it went ahead and calculated the full width half max and the eccentricity as well as stars detected. Now, what we can do is we can also use full star correction, which utilizes Blur Exterminator. And Blur Exterminator is required for this to work. And we can also utilize star removal, which uses star exterminator. And it goes and unscreens the stars for you. First, let's go ahead and just uh, click full star correction. Let's rerun the script. And it'll automatically pull the luminance, calculate the full width half max. It's gonna round the uh, full width half max number and put it into Blur Exterminator PSF diameter automatically and run the full Blur Exterminator on your image as we see here. Also, so if you have multiple windows up on, on the uh, workspace, it's gonna put an underscore star console at the end of the image that it worked on so you can easily identify it. And if we go ahead and click back once, uh, make sure to pay attention to this um, just so there's no confusion. Since it renamed the image, clicking back once is gonna get rid of that rename. And if we click back again, we can see the Blur Exterminator has been run. Now, we can also double check if we were to go into um, view and then we go into explore windows, history explorer, we choose our uh, image that we were working on, we can see blur exterminator here and exactly what the script put in the PSF diameter. So let's go ahead and let's run this all the way back. Let's go to script HLP star console. I put the uh, image all the way back to its starting point and let's go ahead and select full star correction, star removal and our image. We'll click measure full with half max. Again, it's gonna extract the luminance. If you're working with a grayscale image, it won't even bother with extracting the luminance because it's already in grayscale. As we see here, um, blur exterminator has been run and now we're off to Star Exterminator. So now we're gonna be left with our full width half max uh, reading, our eccentricity, the detected stars, the PSF diameter that was used in Blur Exterminator, and we're left with a starless image and a stars image with the stars unscreened. And from there, you can process as normal. 
So I hope you find the script useful, and if you do and want to help support the channel, check out that join button and consider becoming a Hidden Light Photography member. There's lots of perks in being a channel member, and your support helps me bring you more content. Also, do me a favor, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any useful information. Drop a comment in the comment section. Do you already use Blur Exterminator and Star Exterminator? Is this something that you'd find useful? And then, check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.